I strongly recommend therapy. It's beneficial anytime, but especially high stress times like now. A great option for you is Talkspace. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. Plus, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist 24-7, and they'll engage with you daily, five days a week. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com or download the app. Make sure to use the code SCARY to get $100 off of your first month and show your support for the show. That's scary and talkspace.com. How many of you have guilty pleasures? I have so many. Like, I love cheesy holiday movies. And I love re-watching our videos. Watching myself in something is such a guilty pleasure to me. But you know what I feel exactly zero guilt about? How much I enjoy playing Best Fiends. I love playing Best Fiends with my mom because she's so funny when she outranks me and even funnier when I outrank her right back. Best Fiends is free to download and more events get added all the time. This five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must play. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Hey, I'm Markia. Wanna hear something scary? Woman in the Red Sari. It's difficult to appreciate the blessings you've been given until they are gone. When you hunger for a better life and neglect those you love, there's no telling what harm that will cause. Vivek was a young man with a wife and baby at home near Kolkata. Struggling to make ends meet, he took a job as a forest officer. He was finally able to provide for his family, but his job stationed him far from home. He didn't like being away from them, but this particular job paid very well. No one wanted the post at the Dow Hill Forest Camp in West Bengal. It was understood that whoever was on duty overnight near the river had to return to the camp by sunup, or they would fall prey to Pranitha. Long ago, Pranitha was a very beautiful woman who was horribly neglected by her husband. He was never home and valued his career and friends over his wife. The loneliness led to a corrupting rage. And finally, she decided if he couldn't give her his attention, then he would give it to no one at all. One night, when he came home after being gone for days, she decided enough was enough and Pranitha murdered her husband. Fearing the consequences, she fled deep into the forest to live among the tall trees. Eventually, her scattered remains were discovered throughout the forest. Alone and with little to no survival skills, she had been torn apart by the wild boars that roamed those woods. Angry at the fate she suffered, blaming it on her husband's neglect, her spirit became twisted and malevolent. It was said to haunt Dow Hill Forest, searching for men out too late and neglecting their own wives at home. Despite the bonus pay that was also offered for the post, many seasoned officers, married or unmarried, refused it. Vivek, however, didn't believe in ghosts, so he agreed to take the post in Dow Hill. On his first night of rounds, he began to explore deep into the beautiful wilderness. Hours passed and he found himself near the river just before dawn, his mind running free with thoughts of his wife and child. Feeling a chill set in, he was startled back to reality with the sound of an ear-shattering scream. He looked through the brush and saw in the distance a woman huddled and wailing. Are you hurt? He asked. The woman cried. Hello, I'm lost. I can't find my way out. As Vivek trekked closer, he could make out a beautiful woman. She appeared to be wearing a red sari, traditional attire that many Indian women wore. However, red is the color usually reserved for brides. She looked extremely out of place and really must have been lost. Vivek called over, telling her he'll get her out of there. She could stay at their camp until they could get her home. She agreed. As they trudged through the woods, Vivek offered her his hand over a fallen log. 
When she placed her hand in his, it felt weightless, as if there was nothing there. He must have been outside for too long, he thought. His hands were too frozen to feel properly. The woman still trailed at a slow pace behind him. She seemed tired, terrified, and was trying to hike through the woods in a sari, which was difficult in and of itself. He turned around to see if she needed more help catching up, but when he looked, she was gone. Suddenly, a voice came from up ahead. It was the woman. She shouted, try to catch up. Confused because he didn't see her pass him, he moved quickly to catch up with her. She asked him if he was married, and he said yes. Well, your wife must not be that special to you if you're so far from her and out here with me, she said. Vivek thought about this, missing his wife desperately now. When he looked back for the woman, again, she was ahead of him. This continued to happen. Each time Vivek caught up, she would lag behind. Then in an instant, she would be ahead, waiting for him. It happened one more time, then she called. Try to catch up, Vivek. He froze. He had never told her his name. Vivek began to close the gap so as not to alarm her that something was wrong. But his pulse started to pound through his neck. He had been freezing cold, but was sweating now and trying to act normal. A sliver of light was cast onto the woman as the sun was about to rise. Vivek could now see her sari in greater detail. It wasn't a sari. She was actually draped in thick, dripping blood. Stunned, he knew this must be the bride, Pranitha. If he could just get past her and through the river before the sun came up, he would be safe. He walked close to her again, trying not to vomit at the sight of her blood-drenched body. They were at the river now, and as he took a step into the water, Pranitha tried to stop him. This time, as she touched him, he could feel her bloody hands sticking to his skin. Won't you carry me? I'm so cold, she pleaded. Vivek took this as a sign that she could not cross the running water on her own. With a quick breath, he wrenched his arm away from her and dived headfirst into the river. He kicked as hard as he could to get upstream and away from the gruesome bride. She cackled behind him, a sound only evil could make. You don't deserve your wife. She's the unlucky one. This isn't over, Vivek. It will never be over for you. Vivek finally reached the camp soaked and in shock. The sun was up and he was safe. But he couldn't unhear the cackling from the evil bride or unfeel his arm in her clutches. He had to leave that job and return to his family. He wouldn't neglect his wife like Pranitha was neglected by her husband. The only problem was now the man couldn't stop thinking of the horrors he had found in the forest. Plagued by nightmares and unable to hold a job, Vivek slowly went mad. His wife tried to be patient with him, but eventually she took their daughter and left. The once loving husband and father was now all alone, stuck only with his vivid memories of the horrid woman in the red sari. Pranitha's vengeance was complete. There's more than one way to destroy a man. A lot of my friends were expecting a big change from 2020 to 2021. Well, real change takes time and effort. We're all dealing with a lot within our homes, so it's a good idea to get support from a therapist to help you find more peace and quiet within yourself. I strongly recommend therapy. It's beneficial anytime, but especially high stress times like now. A great option for you is Talkspace. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. Your therapist can help you set and achieve your goals. Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. Plus, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist 24-7, and they'll engage with you daily, five days a week. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first 
this month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com or download the app. Make sure to use the code SCARY to get $100 off of your first month and show your support for the show. That's SCARY and Talkspace.com. Hey, my dark darlings. How many of you have guilty pleasures? I have so many. Like, I love cheesy holiday movies. I call them my trash movies. And I love rewatching our videos, like our military horror, Still on Patrol, or the post-holiday scary story, The 13-Foot Skeleton. Watching myself in something is such a guilty pleasure to me. But you know what I feel exactly zero guilt about? How much I enjoy playing Best Fiends. Their challenging puzzles help me de-stress from work. Their Match 3 puzzle game has literally thousands of levels and new content. I love playing Best Fiends with my mom because she's so funny when she outranks me and even funnier when I outrank her right back. Best Fiends is free to download and more events get added all the time. This five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must play. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, this show would not be possible without your support. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings. Sweet dreams. <laughs>